Hey everybody, it's Michelle, and I uh, made a journal, and it's the first vintage journal that I, it's the first journal I've ever made, but I made it um, using the Time Traveler paper collection that I made, the other day I made um, this Moment in Time mini, I did a video on it, so then I made this journal to match it because I still had some leftover paper. And um, I've been wanting to do a journal because Barb had inspired me. She made a beautiful vintage lady journal a while back. And so now I finally tried it. And this is all the papers that she sent me um, from her store, Kelly Craft Supplies on Etsy. And I'll put the link to her um, store down below where you can get this paper collection. So here's my journal. Um, and it's quite big. I coffee dyed all the papers, which was the first time doing that. I think it looks really super cool. It turned out good. Um, and then I made the cover very similar to the other one. And it says, Take Me Back. And there's one of the wood embellishment clocks um, from the wood chip collection that comes with it. And then on the spine, I used a tutorial to bind it, um, a simple twine binding, and I got it from Ephemera's Garden here on YouTube. She has a ton of videos on journals, but she shows how to do this simple binding, and it was very easy. And then I just covered it up with a, a flower that I had in my stash, and I had these beads that I thought matched really nice that I attached. And then it just, that's the back, and um, I glued this crocheted ribbon that's the tie closure and it stays on so it's glued on so um how I did the inside was I coffee dyed the papers but then I did use cardstock to make like dividers for pockets and stuff because the papers are kind of brittle and some papers I I stuck stuff on so I'll just give you a brief overhaul. This is the front cover, and this is some really cool paper that I had that I actually got. It's Recollections, and I got it in the loose paper aisle at Michael's, but it's signature paper, and it's kind of like a canvas. So I cut that up and used it on the front and back, front cover. And then I made all the tags with the paper collection. And whatever didn't get coffee stained, like on my tags and stuff, I didn't coffee stain those, but I used... Um, this Lindy Stamp Gang spray and it is steampunk sepia so I, I gave you can see all the little splatters and stuff that I gave everything a, a little squirt and I even added a little bit to it a um, little bit of it to some of my papers just to give it more of a splattery look and I also used a little bit of this Sandra D sepia I think that's from the the Grease Lightning Collection or something from Lindy's. And then everything I distressed with Vintage Photo, the Tim Holtz. So, uh, And I did go over the edges of the papers browned in the in the oven a little bit because I did dry them in the oven. But um, I did actually go over them too to give them more defined look with um, the Vintage Photo. So I just basically threw, this is from the collection, the um, ATC... This is all I have left of the collection, the chipboard, the buttons, and I still have quite a bit left of um, these tags. So I used a lot of the those for um, journaling tags and pockets and cut up the paper. So then in between the cardstock, then that's where I have my signatures of the paper. And some pages I left blank, some pages I um, put little stuff in to to hold things you know and I didn't fill it all with tags and I did random stamping with just a bunch of different stamps that I had so I won't bore you by flipping through every single page but it is randomly stamped with some cool stamps and and stuff like that so it's really cool um, and then these are pockets there's a tag that goes in there some more random stamping and then again, um, photo journaling or just a journaling, and it will tuck in there. It will tuck in there, believe it or not. Yep, there it goes. Okay, so then 
more pockets and here's more of those ATC pads from the collection. Little tags with random stamping. Chipboard from the collection that hold. Oh my gosh, I have to glue that back down. I never really actually glued it. I just used the sticker. So, all right, I'll have to glue that back down. More random stamping. A photo mat. Tags and pockets. Everything comes out. Um, so yeah, and then the pages are coffee dyed and. It came out really cool. Like some of the pages, I overlapped them on a cookie sheet, so it made these really cool prints, which I kind of liked. And some papers tore, and I left it because I think it looks really cool. So, and then I used that from the collection. Perhaps this very instant is your time. And everything is just filled. Here's like a photo mat or a journaling spot. Here's that cool paper that I stamped on and put some photo mats and. That was the sprays. I think it looks really awesome. Looks like someone poured their coffee everywhere. Very old, very old looking. This is the new Wendy Vex, Becky stamp that I also got from Barb's store. And I love that stamp. And, and then I put a little envelope that I had in my stash with a tag in it. And I had another little envelope in my stash. Most, that was actually from the cover of the Wendy Vecchi stamp set, but so I cut it off. This I just kind of had in my stash. You can use it as a photo mat or journaling thing. Tucks in the pocket. I made this ribbon um, so you can have it as like a bookmarker, and I just had these from Recollections, these little dots, and I put it on the paper. So it has the paper and it weights it down so you can use it as a bookmark in between your pages there so there another envelope and a tag and you can also stick stuff in these corner tabs so and more coffee dyed papers and you can use that as a pocket for something another envelope more tags and journaling spots. Another tag. Another little envelope that's loose. Another photo mat. And more of the paper section for journaling. And then the last, here's like a file folder that I distressed the heck out of. It looks really cool. So you could lay your photos like on top or right over that. That slips in there. And on the last page just has tags and these are left open so you can still tuck little notes and papers in and stuff. So that's the back of the book. And that's it. And then there's the spine, which I love how the spine turned out. Where am I? I just love how that turned out. I like the these beads that I had just totally match this collection really nice. So there you go. That's my journal. The first one I did. I did like making that. I am going to make more. Um, this journal is for sale. If you are interested, send me an email. It will be in the description box below. And um, we'll talk about pricing. All right, everybody. Thanks for watching. And let me know what you think. And take a visit over to Kelly Craft Supplies on Etsy. All right. Take care. Bye-bye.